Alright, so now that we've done all that, I thought I might show you what we can do with those scrolls that we found on that bloke, if you haven't done that already. It's pretty cool, if you ask me. First, I might go and sell off my wares. You're going to get quite a bit of gold for these <coughs> Dark Brotherhood pieces. To so talk to Meldor. But, uh, he's only got 1500. But, um, so there you go. Try and sell it for 75. It's easier to bring it up when when you're selling more. If you haven't figured that out already. <coughs> Pretty sure you get some money after a day. Yep. Chuck on our iron boots, and I'll show you how this spell works. Okay, so we're going to quick save. Um, there you go. Scroll of Icarian Flight. Let's go. As you can see, it's good for covering long distance. Up in the clouds here, can't see anything. And we're dead. But, as you get higher level, you're gonna get slow fall spells and everything else. And you might even be able to jump around like that normally with, with alteration. A bit faster getting around that way. Now, what we're going to be doing is the main quest and I'm pretty well you just turn left at the Balmora gate across the bridge and keep going and when you get to this fork here you can turn left up the hill or right to the fort this time we're going to be turning left so I've leveled up here I've got my athletics up I think so we'll go again. Level 3. Now we only have strength and willpower, so we're going to level those up. And. Hmm. I think we'll go agility. It's always good to get more hits on people. Now bear in mind this location is very prone to cliff races which you'll probably see what they are later on if you don't know now at the end of this bridge there's a man who's going to try to attack you and he summons a ghost I think Let's see if we can get a few good hits on him then we'll move on to frostbite and I'll show you the wrath of these spells. See? How good is that? Ah. Magic is very useful, everyone. We're going to put on these common pants just because uh, I don't need that, it's not really worth anything. And we've got steel, so we're not going to take the, uh, the iron. Uh, if you have any space, there's usually a lot of raw ebony around here but just take whatever gold you can find as well. Oh, that's right, they're in the, it's in the barrel, the keg. Oh, there you go, diamond. <clears throat> There'll be some raw ebony inside. Quite heavy there. When we get back to Balmora, I'm going to be showing you how to use mark and recall spells, if you're not sure. Um, it makes traveling a hell of a lot easier. So here we are at our first dungeon. There 
pretty good. Spells are good. Um, Long Bay is 32 and Destruction is 35. So we're not too far away, but we're going to try and keep them relatively close together. If you know what I mean. Um, Dwemer coins are very light and they're worth a good amount of money. There's a spear here. We don't really use spears there, though. We'll grab it anyway. We can we can carry it. Um, do a little heal. Long blade next, so we don't get too ahead of ourselves on destruction. Oh, he's got some potions. That'll be good. Um, here we go. Levitation potion. That's fun. Common disease potion. That's good. It's all good. <coughs> and um, oh, that's all we need from him. Here's the cube that you're after. So it's to the left when you go up the stairs into this room. Um, that's for the quest, so we, we could be done here, but I'm going to go out and clear the dungeon anyway. Might fast forward this bit. Now we're going to be opening this chest with our spell, so now we get a chance to do it. There we go. Aha, I got some Dwemer Greaves, which is excellent. I'm a helmet. Beautiful. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Ah, looks like that's it. Back to Blalmora we go. I know I missed out on the part back there, but there's just not much point. Let's just unpause it here. This is a cliff racer, in case you didn't know. You're going to find so many of these in the game, it's unbelievable. They're extremely annoying. 